Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. And today I will show you guys how to customize the new home screen and lock screen on your iOS 26.2 device. Now, of course, these are very simple things that you can do, yet they will make your device stand out and look really, really different from other iOS devices. Now, most of these things will also work on all their iOS 26 versions, but we have a few new options here with iOS 26.2 that actually do help out a lot and you will have to have them in order to get these awesome looks that I will show you guys on my device right here on the lock screen and of course the home screen as well. Now before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel, so if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, it will really help the channel a lot. Now before we get started with the lock screen, which is the first thing we're talking about, let me show you guys an option here on the settings app that I suggest you must configure it this way. So head on to settings and go under display and brightness. And then right here, we'll find liquid glass. If you go here, you will have two different options. Now, in my opinion, if you have a device on iOS 26, you have to use the clear option. It's much better. Of course, it just shows more of the liquid glass effect. And that's what this basically update is about. In my opinion, it looks much, much better. And if you are worried that having all these things in liquid glass is hard to see them or they don't stand out as, as much, I will show you guys here in a few minutes how you can actually fix that problem so you use the liquid glass but still have things looking really, really good. So first of all, let's move on to the lock screen and let me show you guys a few simple things that you can do on the lock screen in order to get a really cool look. As you can see right here, this is the lock screen of my device. You can see how cool it looks. You can see this clock right here. It looks quite different. That's because we're using two new options on iOS 26 to get this result right here. First of all, as you know, with iOS 26.2, Apple has added a new option to actually adjust the liquid glass effect on the clock on the lock screen. Hopefully that will come to other parts of the UI on iOS really soon. But we're also using another option that I just mentioned it like a minute ago, which will actually outline the liquid glass elements on the UI, making them more visible. And it looks really, really nice. So you can see right here what we have done. So on the lock screen, we basically have the, this clock with all liquid glass here, of course, just turned up to the max. And then we have the outline here and we have a few like widgets at the bottom, which makes it look even better. So let me show you guys how to edit this. So what you need to do here is just tap on customize and then tap on the clock and make sure you just slide this all the way here. And of course you're using the glass option here and the first one, which is the clear option. And you will then have uh, this effect, but of course you need to enable the border as well. Now, in order to get that border, you will need to head on to the settings app and you will see everything here, the dumb button, the cancel button, everything is actually outlined by this new option. You can see the customize button as well, which is really awesome. So let's head on to the settings now. So under the settings app, head on under accessibility and then go to display and text size and you will have here a new option called show border. Now, once you have this enabled right here, you can see it will show a border just all around the elements of the UI on iOS 26. So you can see if I disable this, it removes the border enable this, it enables the border right here. And it has effect here on the home screen, you can see the dock. If we go to the control center, you can see all the elements are outlined, they look actually really awesome. And things like, let's say the calculator, you can see everything here is outlined, it actually just makes the device in my opinion, look much, much better and way different from other devices, which is really, really awesome. So that's how you actually edit the clock on the lock screen. And this is how you add this border that makes everything stand out more, even with liquid glass turned to the maximum. Now, another really important thing when it comes to having a customized device and a really great setup 
are of course wallpapers you can see this wallpaper that i have here it looks really awesome now most of the wallpapers that i have on my device are from this app right here it is called wall wallcraft basically like 80 percent of the wallpapers i have them from this app right here or from x where i have like a few accounts that i follow that often po post really awesome wallpapers i will leave a link to a video that i have done previously on these places where you can get these wallpapers and make your home screen look really different so again the next tip is always try to have like a really nice wallpaper for your device it really makes a huge difference now once you have that wallpaper set what you can do is head on here tap the edit button and then go to customize and here are a few tips that i suggest you follow first of all use the clear icons and then once you tap on clear this will turn on automatically now what this will do is that it will add like a layer to your wallpaper like a tint make it a bit darker but i don't like how that makes the device look so just go ahead and disable that it's much better and then what you can do is use the light icon so you get the best out of the liquid glass effect. Now, you can, of course, choose the bigger or the smaller icons. I don't know why, but I do prefer the smaller icons. I wish Apple would add an option where you can have the smaller icons without labels. That will be perfect. But again, this is the configuration that I do on my home screen to achieve this look right here. Now, of course, another really, really important thing when it comes to the home screen are widgets. Having a really cool widget like this one right here, it makes the home screen look really awesome. Or something like this, if I go here, I can add like a clock here, like an Apple Watch watch face right on the home screen and you can see it has that like transparent background it looks really awesome or we can have the vision pros right here on the home screen and they're displaying the current weather and also the date here it looks actually really really awesome so we have the time the weather and the date displaying on the vision pros right here how cool does that look it is actually really awesome now this is an app called mojo you can get it for free from the app store it's easy to use you install the app you will have here a ton of like different widgets that you can download you can add your own photos you will have the icon launchers you will also have all kinds of things like you will have your calendar task progress to do list these exports that look really cool now once you add a widget from this app you will get this easy option right here to turn it into a transparent widget without having to do anything else you just simply enable this button and you're good to go now another app you can use for your home screen is widget another amazing app and it's really awesome because it gets updated with new widgets almost daily so you go to the explore section and you will have a ton of different widgets that you can actually download here and save for your device you can see all these cool widgets that have been added by users and again it gets updated a lot so every time you go here we'll basically find a new widget so that is it for this video guys this is how you can customize the new home screen and lock screen on your ios 26.2 device hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found it helpful if you did smash that like button and of course subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys on the next one